it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're gonna have a look at how we can add this before and after effect within Final Cut Pro. So we've got this kind of extreme color correction, which is our after, and we're gonna show how we swipe from our original unchanged footage to this. So we're gonna create a kind of split screen, a couple of different options for this. So the first thing we need to do for this first option is just to duplicate this clip. So I'm holding down the Alt or Option key and dragging up that clip. And on this topmost layer, I'm just gonna turn off the colorize option so we go back to our original clip so what i'm going to do here we're going to play this through and essentially around this point we're going to have this split half and half to show the before and after of this clip so i'm going to come up to my inspector at the top right and we're going to use the cropping tool to do this so you can see we can reveal the right hand side of our video there and basically we want to go to around halfway so that we get this kind of reveal of the before and after of that video. So we're gonna begin by coming to the inspector and finding our start point for the animation and just keyframing that right hand spot at zero. And then we'll play this through. And it's somewhere around about a second that we want that color change to be revealed. So I'm gonna drag this across. And this is 1920 by 1080 footage, so halfway is about 960. So we'll go to 960 or thereabouts. So now I've got this nice reveal, we can come back and we can play it through. We've got our before and our after. It's gonna show off the color changes that we've made to that video. Now we can use a title in there too. I'm gonna to come to my titles and generators and we'll come to the bumper and opener titles. And I'm just gonna use the basic title. So we'll drag a title on here. We'll pull this one up to the left. This will be our before. And we'll make this text a 2D style. We'll make it nice and bold. And we'll also scroll down here and we're gonna give it a drop shadow too. So it stands out a bit from that background. And then I'm just gonna hold down the option key again and we'll duplicate that layer and this will be our after and we'll just use a standard transition to fade those in so we might have to tweak the timing here so we've got this coming on and we'll just get our before and after to animate on a little bit one after the other so that is looking pretty good for my basic before and after shot so we're gonna switch this up a little bit now. I'm gonna remove these two titles and I'm also going to clear the animation on there. So if you wanna remove animation from a crop or from other elements in your inspector, then we can come just to the right of those options and just go to reset parameter and that will reset the parameters for that. So now we're back to the two layers that we have there. So here we are gonna crop this from the right. We just don't want the animation in there. So I'm gonna crop this to 960 and then we're actually going to use another Brett FX option here which is in our titles I have the Brett FX quick list installed and I really love this vertical reveal that we have here which works perfectly for this kind of split screen so I'm going to drag this down to the timeline and essentially we're going to have this playing through so you can see this is playing through and then it's going to do this vertical reveal because we've got that right in the middle, it's gonna reveal it beautifully. So I'm actually gonna flip my layers around here. So I'm gonna use the topmost layer with the colorize and color board turned on. And then I'm gonna turn off the colorize on my bottom layer there. So what will happen is we're gonna trim this top layer down a bit. And in the time of this animation, I'm gonna fade in that color reveal on the left hand side. So we'll just highlight the start of this clip, use Command and T, and essentially what we're gonna get is this is gonna split and then that's gonna fade in. So I'm just gonna zoom in a bit here and I want this to start fading in as soon as that split starts to reveal. So we need to push this back a little bit. I'm just using my cursors to come forward frame by frame. So that's where it starts. So we're gonna trim that down to there. And it's important we don't push this clip back and forwards. We don't wanna move things out of sync because it's important that they are in sync. So basically this is revealing and that's kind of locking in nicely there. So we'll play this through. So we're coming down the other way. We're talking about our color correction, this kind of tint, and then we have that effect pop on there. 
and we can add a graphic in here as well. So if we're talking about Final Cut Pro, then we can come into our library. We have the Final Cut Pro logo up here. If I select my vert reveal, come to the properties for this, I'm gonna scroll down and we'll select the Final Cut Pro logo for my drop zone, select that. I'm gonna to need to reduce the size of the source so we can see the whole logo. And then we can increase the scale of that as well to kind of pop out a bit. Once that's all lined up, we'll just hit apply clip. And then we're also gonna add some type in here as well. We have some nice type options in the Brett FX quick list. So I'm gonna use, we'll go for this quick title three. We'll drop that down and we'll have our before on the right. And then we'll duplicate this and we'll have our after on the left, which may seem a bit backwards, but we can always flip these around if we want to. In fact, let's just do that here. So if we select this now, instead of cropping from the right, we'll just crop 960 from the left. We can see that clip is kind of splitting itself we'll that all the way to 960. And then we'll flip these around. We've got our before and after. And then we'll just have to work on the timing of this. So we've got our vert reveal. And it'd be nice to have these kind of little bit offset. So we get that nice continuation of the animation. Sweet. So that's looking pretty nice. So the, the Brett Effects quick list really allows you to have these nice effects that just overlay of your videos. You don't have to work too much on those animation pieces. So you can just drop those in there. It makes it super easy to add these more complicated animations. We're also going to get the fade out at the end. So we'll finish that up and we've got our vert reveal animating out. So we'll trim our endpoint somewhere around there to time with this disappearing. So we're animating out. And then by the time this all gets back together, we want this to be back to normal. So it's like it's putting itself back together. So this should look pretty nice now. So we've got our before and after, nice split screen there. And then animation again, back, putting that clip back together nicely with the Brett FX quick list plug in there and the animations that it has. So I hope this is a useful overview of how to do those before and after shots within Final Cut Pro. If you do have any questions about this or other plugins or effects within Final Cut Pro, then please leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.